Well, we have more rain in our forecast. As you look at these numbers, many of you may say, okay, that's enough. But uh, it looks like Mother Nature is not quite done with us yet in terms of giving us more rain. But this is a look at the rainfall estimates between Wednesday and Monday. So through, let's say today, starting from last Wednesday, there are some spots, many spots that have picked up more than five inches. And on the higher end, approaching nine inches, like parts of Lauderdale County and also some parts into Choctaw County. As far as Meridian specifically, since Friday through about Sunday, we picked up close to four inches. However, Saturday was the day that we definitely uh, reached the most in terms of our highest amount of rain, and it was also record rainfall for the day, getting three inches within several hours. So here's a look at EMEP Live Radar, and we do have some rain that has developed and now impacting the southern parts of our area, moving out of the Jasper County area, but more so kind of dominating a good portion of Clark County. Some moderate to heavy rain from equipment down towards Shibuta. A little bit of a closer view here around Pachuda, Stonewall, all tapping into this downpour and we're still dealing with some rain anywhere from let's say Needham over towards Gilbert Town and we'll continue with that trend for a little while crossing over 17 again definitely uh, a wet scene so the reason for the unsettledness, we have a stalled boundary in the region. We have an upper level feature working with this. We have ample moisture courtesy of the Gulf of Mexico and some moisture being pumped in from there. And then the heat of the day, all of that kind of works together to give us unsettled weather. So for tomorrow, expect more of the same. We'll have some dry moments, but we'll also have some moments where we have to make sure we have an umbrella with this. So through 11 o'clock tonight, again, still dealing with some wet weather for the southern parts of our area as we head into the overnight through Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. There could be some light showers out there. If you don't catch rain that early, maybe you'll get some around late morning, 11 o'clock or so. There still could be some hit or miss showers, although a lot more of us will be dry. But again, by the end of the day, most of us will tap into some form of rain, whether it's a lighter shower or a thunderstorm. Four o'clock, we have more brighter colors popping up, indicating some downpours and possibly some storms that could bring some gusty winds. Eight o'clock, still very unsettled in our area. And then we're going to do it all over again as we head into our Wednesday. Seven o'clock in the morning, the possibility for some showers, maybe some some pockets of heavier rain as we kick off the day, and then we're going to have the potential for some rather heavy rainfall through the afternoon and into the evening as we get another dose of rain that will be affiliated with uh, some upper level disturbances sliding by. So between Tuesday and Wednesday, we're expecting one to two inches indicated by the color coding here, uh, but there could be locally more. If we get a thunderstorm slow moving over an area or rounds of rain over the same areas, you could pick up one to two inches within a couple of hours, maybe more than that. So again, just make sure you're ready. If you encounter, let's say, a flooded roadway, always remember to take a different route. Turn around, don't drown, but flooding is a possibility. Right now, temperatures are in the widespread upper 70s for most, a little bit cooler at Bay Springs at 74. Overnight lows will stay more so into the lower to possible mid 70s, and there will be a few showers after midnight. And then for your Tuesday, we're talking 80s below the average, and again, a good chance of rain. So here's that 10 day forecast of 10, sponsored by Insurance Solutions. Daily rain chances again. The weekend down to 40% chance, so we'll have some scattered showers and storms. Not everyone gets wet, it won't be a complete washout, but as you see, you'll need the umbrella this weekend, and we'll also have a chance for maybe some isolated showers next week. I mean, it